Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Huncho back at you again with another video. And so for anyone who doesn't know, the Oliver Stevens murder trial is currently underway and we're a few days into the trial now. Over these past few days, more coverage has been released which shows more evidence that the prosecution is putting forward to the jury. And in that last video, we did see the prosecution had laid out a small timeline of events of what allegedly happened. And we also seen that two of the three people on trial, so that would be one of the boys and the girl, had pled guilty to manslaughter charges. Now, I did see some people getting a bit confused by this. And what this basically means is, yes, they did go on to admit manslaughter charges, but the prosecution doesn't accept that and still wants to go ahead and pursue murder charges. So they're not off the murder charge for anyone wondering but if they do go on to beat this case then of course they did admit to that manslaughter charge so they'll end up getting sentenced for that before we move forward with this video though i just want to put a disclaimer out there saying anything i do say in this video is all just alleged because this is an ongoing criminal court case but with that being said as a quick catch up for anyone who missed it in the last video we did see that the prosecution alleged that ollie had been lured into bugs bottom playing fields in emma green at 200 150 yards from his home after a girl had lured him there and he was then ambushed by two teens who stabbed him to death. In new details that have now emerged, the court was shown messages voice notes and videos of the three defendants and in one of the videos the boy brandishes a knife with a gold blade which had been recorded on the 21st of december 2020 whilst another video depicts the two boys running with that same knife in a park late at night in court it was heard that messages which demonstrated hostility towards ollie were first sent up to two weeks before he had been killed this came after one of the two boys had accused him of snaking him which caused him to develop a grievance against ollie it was then the two boys and the girl started to set up a meeting with ollie in the first few days of 2021 and by the 2nd of january 2021 they were all engaged in exchange hostile messages where they started to talk about setting him up and attacking him later on that same day one of the boys on trial sent a voice note to ollie saying that he would quote get banged if he saw him and that he was going to slap him up in another voice recording from one of the boys on trial to the other boys, he was quoted as saying, I hate that kid with a passion. If I was to see him right now, I would end up killing him. Throughout these messages, the girl was quoted as saying that she wouldn't care if Ollie died as the result of him getting set up. The following day on the 3rd of January 2021, more hostile messages were sent between Ollie and one of the boys and later on that same day, the girl was persistently trying to get Ollie away from his home address with eventually a meeting between the pair being set up at Bugs Bomb Field. Of course, the 3rd of January is the day the meeting went down and Oliver died. As she was sending these messages to Ollie, she'd also been sending messages to two other boys in order for them to ambush him. In a voice note she sent to one one of the boys before the meeting she went on to say quote i'm kind of scared not going to lie this meeting didn't just involve these three though believe it or not others had been involved in the planning of the meeting but they never went on to be charged one of the boys who wasn't charged but was a part of this group said to one of the boys on trial that he felt like they were a part of a murder team talking of the moments leading up to the ambush the prosecution said both boys on trial had approached the scene as part of a bigger group with the girl and three other males Ollie was believed to have left his home by himself and made his way to Bugs Bottom Field in sliders to meet up with the girl who had been messaging him to do so. Just on a quick side note, the girl had asked him to specifically wear sliders as well. In a witness statement to the court, a woman who was at the scene describes the moment Ollie came face to face with the group. She describes Ollie as shouting, swearing and gesturing towards the boys. The woman would then go on to describe some kind of confrontation in which a boy in black could be seen swinging his arms in a clenched fist at Ollie. Ollie then retaliated with a fist coming back at the boy, which was more of an uppercut. The boy then swings back at ollie making contact with the right side of his face the witness statement described ollie's body moving around whilst his face was quote crinkled up it was then out of nowhere the woman heard a metallic sound as if metal had hit something hard 
and then the fight stopped and everyone disappeared. And at this point, Ollie didn't appear to realise he'd been stabbed either, and could be seen staggering around and actually almost walked into the witness. At first, the witness had thought he'd been taking drugs or had been drinking, but when he collapsed to the ground, she could see that blood was coming from his chest, and it was then that she performed CPR on him. Another witness to the scene said that as this was happening, the girl kept looking back behind her shoulder, to see what was going on and appeared to be arrogant. When emergency services eventually arrived, paramedics worked on Ollie for around 30 minutes, but ultimately he would go on to lose his life. After the attack, the jury were told about deliberate steps that included searches on the internet for news related to the incident, separating from each other after the attack, and communicating with each other about the disposal of clothing and phone data. Also, in the days after the attack, the boy who admitted manslaughter charges created a voice note which was sent saying it was me and my boy in it. I started slapping him up. And then my boy backed it out and fucking shanked him. In a later voice note, the same boy wasn't sure whether Ollie had been murdered before indicating that he was trying to avoid the police when he had seen them that day. The prosecution said that he expressed what appeared to be excitement about being wanted by the police and the news coverage of what was going on. It was also heard that he mocked Ollie in voice notes, suggesting that Ollie's girlfriend had been having sex with him when he said, quote, Ollie's girlfriend bends over for me 24 7. These voice notes had actually been sent to Ollie's phone. Meanwhile, the other boy who hadn't entered a guilty plea for the manslaughter charge had been sent messages from a friend of his asking, did you kill Ollie? Why would you do that? To which he responded, it was the biggest mistake of my life. In other messages, he said that he was sorry and claimed the attack was out of, quote, pure anger, adding, no, I didn't plan to fucking kill him. I didn't mean to. I just saw red. I couldn't help myself. And this is the latest to come out of the Oliver Stevens murder trial. Of course, again, it is an ongoing trial. So I am going to hold back on giving my own commentary at this point. But of course, as you guys know, when more updates do come out of this situation, Situation. as always i'm going to keep you guys posted on this one but yeah let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill street and music news out of the uk be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell it's been your boy ape honcho and i'm out